what is up YouTube, IDM here and welcome back to another jailbreak status video. I'm gonna talk about 14.6, the bugs that were patched. I'm gonna talk about when we could see the next jailbreak. I'm gonna talk about what versions of iOS could this next jailbreak support and uh, probably a bunch of other things as well. So uh, I do wanna say though, I'm not going to talk about current iOS 14 jailbreaks in this video just because I have um, been repeating that content for a few months now, it really hasn't changed. So I wanted to talk about other stuff in this video. So do take note on that. Now, if you guys are, uh, you know, finding my video in search results, this is my very first video you're ever seeing. Uh, check out the description. I, I leave a bunch of stuff in the description. Um, check out my jailbreak updates playlist. You can find all of the most current and up to date information pertaining to jailbreaks in that playlist. Uh, I've been doing this since I think iOS five. So. Uh, I have been doing a lot of updates throughout the years and uh, that, you know, with that being said, that gives me some, you know, some good knowledge of jailbreaking and how they work and when they come out. Now, as far as timing goes, I want to mention this really quickly because I thought it was freaking cool. So I crack your eye device. Uh, he's a pretty big jailbreak YouTuber, um, made a really freaking cool graph here. Uh, that shows previous jailbreaks and how many days it was until they came out and what versions they were and all of that. So you can see here uh, the jailbreaks for iOS 11, iOS 12, 13, and 14. And if history repeats itself, which it generally does, as you can see from this graph, we are currently in jailbreak season right now, guys. So we are in jailbreak season. And when I say that, what I mean is we could see a jailbreak come out tomorrow or the next day or it could even be two or three months from now it's really hard to know when a jailbreak is going to come out because nobody knows but we are in jailbreak season so a jailbreak could come out at any point um that's what i would say at any point it, you know right now a jailbreak could come out and that's the next thing i wanted to talk about what version of ios will this next jailbreak support and again, this is my best educated guess. There's nothing, you know, that is in concrete saying this is what the jailbreak is going to support. This is just me guessing. I think that the next jailbreak is going to support iOS 14.4 up to 14.5.1. And the security content of 14.6 kind of solidifies my guess on that. But that's the versions I think this next jailbreak is going to support. So if you guys are on 14.6, downgrade now. 14.5.1 is still being signed. Uh, the only way you can down, downgrade your iPhone is by using a computer. You need to download this IPSW for 14.5.1. And then on your computer, you need to restore your iPhone to that version or that IPSW. That's the only way you can down, downgrade. But get on 14.5.1. I feel like that is going to be the newest version of iOS. Like I said, 14.4 up to 14.5.1. Now, for those of you, hold on, don't leave the video yet. For those of you that are on older versions of iOS, do not update to 14.5.1 just because that seems like the newest version of iOS that's going to get a jailbreak. The lower you can be in iOS, the better your chances are that you will get a jailbreak. Trust me, you would feel really stupid if you're on 14.4 and going off of this information, you're like, oh, well, let me let me go ahead and update to this version because that could be that could be the newest version for a jailbreak. Let's say you do that. You would feel real stupid if a jailbreak comes out that only supports 14.4. Um, or, you know, it doesn't go up to 14.5 because remember 14.5 patched a lot of different bugs and exploits as well. So there is always a chance that the 14.4 versions could get a jailbreak and 14.5 might not. I don't think that will be the case, but don't update. Trust me, you'll feel real stupid if you do. And that happens. Uh, so the lower, the better. Stay as low as possible. If you want a jailbreak in 2021, you need to go into settings you need to go to general, you need to go to software update, you need to go to automatic updates, and you need to turn all of this off. Turn that off. That's how you get a jailbreak. Don't update your iPhone. That's how you will get a jailbreak. So even if you're on 14.6 and you're viewing this in the future and 14.5.1 is no longer being signed, 
Again, same thing. Turn off automatic updates. Don't update your iPhone. Um, and you just need to sit and be patient. Trust me, I had to stay very patient for five months on my iPhone XS Max. That was on 14.0.1. I think it was like four and a half or five months before I was able to jailbreak that iPhone. So for those of you that are growing impatient and you just absolutely can't wait on these lower versions and you you just, you don't know, you know, if you need to update or whatever, if, if, if you can't have any patience when it comes to a jailbreak, then your best bet is to just uh, update and not jailbreak. Don't worry about jailbreaking if you don't have any patience because uh, jailbreaking re requires a lot of patience. You just need to be patient. Like I said, if you have no patience, then don't worry about jailbreaking. Just update your iPhone and move along. That's all I can say. There's uh, quite a few negative comments like that that I've seen uh, recently that just made me wonder why they're even waiting for a jailbreak if they're that impatient. So if you're that impatient, don't wait for a jailbreak. Just update your iPhone. You'll never have a customized iPhone and move on. Okay. Now let's talk about iOS 14.6 and the security that it patches because I think this is very exciting. And this is the information that I'm going off of uh, as far as my educated guess for the next jailbreak goes. So there is a metric poop ton of bugs fixed in 14.6. It's very similar to 14.5. 14.5 had a crap load of bug fixes and so does 14.6. But the big ones that as jailbreakers we are more interested in are the kernel level bugs. And as you can see, the impact a malicious, a malicious application may ab be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. Um, these bugs are basically the building blocks for a jailbreak. These bugs is what is used to update jailbreaks and to uh, make them work on newer versions of iOS. Like I said, these are the building blocks right here. Uh, this is what we need in order to start implementing an update to a jailbreak. And one that's really exciting here is by, uh, let's see, where is it right here? Ian Beer of Google Project Zero. Now, why this one is exciting is because um, Google Project Zero, they, they release these bugs. It might not be right away. It'll be a little bit of time here before they release it, but they do release it. And mark my words, if this gets released, I guarantee you jailbreak developers are going to scoop that up and, and try and figure out how they can implement it into their jailbreaks like Uncover and Taurine. Uh, so just stay patient. This is a big one, guys, right here. There's another bug here I wanted to talk about very briefly. It was under security, I think. Where is it? Right here, security. So there was a bunch of commotion on Twitter about this. I don't really know what it could what it can do, but apparently it's going to churn heads when the write-up comes out. Uh, this summer at some point about this, but as you can see, the impact is processing a maliciously crafted certificate may lead to arbitrary code execution. And this is a, a memory corruption issue in the ASN1 decoder was addressed by removing the vulnerable code. I don't really know what that is. I've never really heard of anything like that, but a certificate that can get arbitrary code, that sounds pretty damn cool to me. So hopefully something comes out of this. I don't know, you know, what it is exactly. Uh, we'll, we'll know more information when the write-up is released for it, but it seems very cool. But like I said, the, the big ones that we're worried about are the kernel level bugs. Those are the building blocks for a jailbreak or the building blocks to update a jailbreak. So that's a big one. That's a big one. <laughs> and uh, that's going to be, I think, basically it for this video guys. Hopefully you found this video useful for those of you that are waiting for a jailbreak. If you did, definitely throw a thumbs up. That really does help me uh, outrank the scam tubers. And uh, if you guys did like the video, make sure you subscribe. This has been Jeremy and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.